All right, welcome back, guys. Before the break, he performed a track from his soon-to-be-released album, Golden Spoon Maroon. He is the veteran dub poet, Yasa Safari, joining me right now, sitting down for a whole nice girl evening, right? Yes. How you doing? Long time. Good, you know, giving thanks and good to see you, Debs. Good Looking to see great. You, too, you know. Sounding great as well. Right, right. Bless you. Yes. Let's get into it because you're telling me now off air that this is your ninth album coming yes, up, yes. right? So, I mean, how long have you been in the business? Give me, give me some years. Wow, well, it depends on where you want to take it from. We started writing at St. Elizabeth Technical High School in the 70s, and then we started performing while we were at CAST. It is now University of Technology, then it was CAST. And so that was in the, the mid 80s. And so we started recording at the turn of the 90s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so the last album that you released was when? Public Secret. Okay. In about what? Time of flying? You know, about seven years now. Seven years ago? Mm -hmm. You released the album? Yeah, wow. Public Secret. So why now? Why are you releasing this album now coming up in November? It's a good question. That's right. You know, we always keep recording. We appear on different compilations. We publish a few books. We, we tour, we lecture, we do workshops and stuff. So we always want to you know, lend a voice to the people. And then during the pandemic years, you know, give you some time to reflect and to meditate. And we think it's at the right time you now for this, refresh mm -hmm. the thing. And then it so happened, synchronicity, as we alluded to earlier. Yeah. Whereby, you know, Spotify announced um, that Poetry is a New Frontier. Mm -hmm. uh, live Nation said they're going to stream uh, live events. Then the Grammy decided to include the album. not just poetry. Yeah. But, but empathy and social advocacy. Mm -hmm. And so, best spoken word poetry, right? Yes. Yeah. So it shows us that, you know, there's a strong demand for what we are doing. And though some people drop asleep and work, we not depend on that as a pioneer, we just keep it moving. And the success of Jamaica Poetry Festival and Poetry in Motion just reaffirmed that yeah. we need to step up. And, and, and we touched them with the Golden Spoon Maroons as a tribute, not just to the Maroon as indigenous people to Jamaica, but all the First Nation peoples of our planet. Yeah, yeah. So the album is called uh, Golden, Golden Spoon, Spoon Maroon. Maroon. And then you have on the album how many persons featured? We feature the chairman of the board. Yes. Uh, Kojo. The Honorable. Kojo, otherwise known <laughs> as Beris Hammond. The Honorable. The Beris Honorable. Hammond, yes. And the hot stepper. Yeah. You see a step hard. Oh, we are coming, right? And yeah, the Kamozi, the yeah, great. And the Kamozi. Yeah as well as Ton of Hope from Ghana, Accra, Ghana, and then my very beautiful daughter, affectionately called Mick, mm -hmm. and the song called Plain and Simple. And we have, we would even start naming producers and musicians on the album, from Sly and Rabbit to King Jammies to the whole work. So, yeah. so it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good album. The concept is different. It's epic. It is being released by VP via VPAL as a digital release by them. We have another company in Europe putting it out on nice. vinyl. And so that they, they're doing something that Quite new to me, they call it the waterfall approach, which is mm. kind of gradual easing into the album. So the first track, Plain and Simple with my daughter Mick, will be released on, on the 4th of November and then follow up with the Hot Stepper yeah. with a song called What a Sin Thing. And that is on the, the, the 11th of November. And then on the 19th, the chairman of the board himself, uh, Barry Saman alongside I and I, will be out on the 19th and then on the 25th on all digital platforms around the planet Earth and maybe out of space. Yes, because yeah, you know we're going yeah. into the metaverse, you know, so, oh, you right? Know, so. Yes, so so that will be on the on the twenty fifth, and that's you know, that's going to be very interesting, and and I'm very very happy to see that you've included your daughter into this project yeah. as well, because you know I, I know about? that she has been you yes. know repping everywhere. Everybody say, yeah, man, I yes, daughter that, so she's been doing good. And Let's the intergenerationality talk. is yes. important, you know? and it is important as well to carry on that legacy of dub poetry, you know, um, to and the get younger the younger generation. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about this um this whole thing with the broadcasting commission and the stipulation you now concerning how we are to. Uh, go about playing dance hall, you know? Do you find that it was within the Broadcasting Commission's right, right now, considering all things that is now dance hall? Um, and do you think it will affect the genre at all? <laughs> Look here. You, you, you give me a tin cut of open up a can, whole pack of worms, you know, and you're running free. <laughs> but but, but it, in the context of time, yeah. really, it's almost like you give a youth in your house a loaded gun and you know, teach him social responsibility mm -hmm. and the use and the dangers as well as the, the, the positive potential of the, of, of, the, of the weapon. And so I don't think as a nation, the different leaders at different levels of the society, we have been doing enough to kind of sensitize and program the youth and orientate them to be responsible citizens, 
to, to come from a situation of a transatlantic genocide to be uh, citizens of a new emerging nation, new paradigms, new faculty of interpretation, you know, seeing the world from a different perspective, asserting yeah. ourselves with yeah. positivity. We have not had enough reference points. This is the 50th. Jimmy Cliff not feeling away, but this is the 50th anniversary of the Harder Day Come, which was modeled off Reagan, one of the most notorious criminals. Mm. And so we immortalize that energy. And then everything of a flip side, you know, yes, it did well for Jamaica, but do we need the social engineers to intervene and to do the necessary mapping and, 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 and guidance, shifting yeah. and guidance mm -hmm. so that we can have a responsible community? So now we unleash the dance hall monster on us, which essentially I don't even think some of you know, some of it is good, but some of what they're putting out is not even. Music is Mexic. Mm. I don't even know what I, I, I even know what I am. So, so here is no. one day. So, so what happened is that we think we have, we have a new opportunity now yeah. using dub poetry or poetry are the, are, the, are the arts, which have been not tiny so far, yeah. to, to reset, recalibrate and realign the people to fulfill the mandate of Jamaica, yeah. which is to advance the welfare of the entire human race. Absolutely. It is definitely a platform for social change, right? Because it has always represented that. Really echo the sentiments of people, the realities, in a very positive way, conscious way as well. So that's coming up. So, Grammys, you're going to submit this one now to, for consideration for the 2023 Grammy Awards? Yeah, but listen to this now. Yes. If you look at it, it's not a physical calendar, you know. Okay. It's from the 1st of October last year to the to the 30th of September. Right. So I will be in the next And the next one, the 2024. Right, pardon me. So yes. people who are, why may I tell the people, I say, yes, yes, you will deserve it, and you forget it. Well, we don't have one whole year for me to vote. Vote, man. Come and on, And the poets, members. step up. Support whoever is available this year. Yes. It's not just about me, yes, yes, I'm yeah. just one of the warriors. So we want to go out there and support, get membership, advocate, share, stream, talk about, like, comment, and let, we have a whole year to make sure that the album happened that way there. And what Absolutely. we are doing with this album is not just advancing spoken word poetry, but advancing the concept of dub. When you hear the album, you're going to say, we have a parallel universe. It's like the metaverse that happened. There are several elements, and that's why we draw from the young, the established, the veteran, from, from all over the world. We have people from Canada involved, UK involved, Europe involved, Jamaica, the parts of the Caribbean. So it's a melting pot. It's really, uh, you know, collective effort, collective yeah. responsibility, shared responsibility. And our poetry network is connected to from South Africa to Iran, so we have mm -hmm. those into the mix. Love it. And so we yeah. can look out for the 20th anniversary of Poetry in Motion on the 26th of February. There we go. It now go normal. I don't and think so either. I don't say this, you know. TVJ Quickly. Give Thanks. This is the first the album cover is being showed anywhere outside what? of this. So we get the exclusive. Yeah. Love that. Big up yourself. Thank you. Big up yourself. Big up yourself and stay right. gorgeous and curvy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I tell you, it's boy. Yes, it's a far right, guys. Stay with us. We soon come back. Maru.